second day of summer. Tough day, man. Here is the sound of summer for you. Thank you. I like that. I, well, I'm assuming that was for me. I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know for sure. We are always happy to see the boys from Steam Whistle join us. Mike Corrali and also we got James Thorne on the queue over there. Hello. And uh, we're talking Steam Whistle. We're talking barbecue. We're talking everything. Mike, what's Hi, going Mike? on? Well, we nice brought down some nice to see you again, Mike. Fiona. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. It's been a year. Beautiful day. We've got some beer down here, some steam whistle deliciousness, and we also have some jalapeno poppers that we're going to take so a crack So we're at. talking uh, barbecue uh, inspired, infused, and uh, very much informed by steam whistle pilsner. You yes. got it. It's it's all about the beer and the barbecue, right? They nice. go how they go hand in hand. Now tell us about the pilsner. Um, it's a delicious beer. It's all it's made with all natural ingredients. Four ingredients according to the Bavarian Purity Law, and it's a really crisp. Um, tasty beverage. It's it's very much like a Stella, Bex, or Heineken, or Grolsch, yeah. but yeah. it's actually it's a lot better. And very steamy. fresh. I'm well, noticing this natural. packaged May 10th, 2011. That is fresh beer. That's that's what we got. That's how we take on the big boys with nice. freshness. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well, what are we making today? Well, we're gonna do jalapeno poppers. So I think probably the first step. We've got James over there on the barbecue. He's sort of tending to James some of the duty. poppers that are well, going already. James is also our DJ as well, so <laughs> <laughs> drop in the mix. And then what we'll do is I'll just quickly walk you through how to make up the barbecue sauce. So okay. in this bowl right here we've got about uh, two cups of uh, ketchup. Yep. It's a good place to start with a barbecue sauce. Yep. And then we add a whole bottle of steam whistle pilsner here. It sounds like that. a lot, but we're going to reduce it down a little later. So Fiona. I'm in. Yeah, I'll let you do that. I and would say it seemed like a waste if it wasn't going to barbecue. Well, out of that or your tummy, right? Yeah, that's right. It's all going the same okay, place. Okay, so I'll, now just, what? I'll hand you the whisk. So the first thing we can do is add our vinegar. Okay. And for all you viewers out there, our recipe will be posted online, so you can okay. take a look at how to do it exactly. Nice. Okay. Uh, now what so happens? So whisk it in, add the vinegar. It doesn't really matter what order you do it. It's all good. Okay. Look at all the herbs so brown and sugar. spices. Brown sugar. Yeah, there's quite a few different ingredients so we've here. Got the sweet but and but the it's, sour. it's a really tasty sauce. James and I practiced last night because we are not chefs. Now this was developed uh, by. <laughs> we had to practice. We had to with practice. Your beer. Yeah. This was practice. Uh, was this developed by an award-winning barbecue team? One um, of the... A lot of the recipes get sent in from people around town back in really? Ontario, and we actually used to have a gal that worked at the Roundhouse that would actually make up a lot of the recipes herself. Now what am I adding? We don't know. Just all of it. Just add it in. So yeah, we've just, got. We've got some nice. Uh, okay, so cayenne pepper, paprika. We've got um, allspice, powder. cinnamon. Um, onion powder, so basically garlic powder. everything you've got in yeah. the cupboard. Just add it all in. Given right? her. But that's the key to a great barbecue sauce as well. Right? It really is. Well, Forbes is doing this. Can we talk about the sweet ride that you guys uh, pulled yeah. up in? This is a uh, '58 Chevy Apache, uh, but this has a little twist on it. Mike, tell us it's about. It's got a little thing. twist. So what we did was we took a '58 Apache and we gutted it and converted it to an all-electric uh, vehicle. So it's wow. the first wind-powered <laughs> hot rod in Canada. We're a green brewery. We thought we'd, 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 we'd sort of take it to the next level and and um, design a really, really amazing hot rod. How does it drive? It's fun. It's yeah, super no fun. Yeah. It, it gets really a lot quiet? of attention. It's quiet, and uh, it does get a lot of attention. You get all the old car enthusiasts. Does it have a cooler on the back? Oh, it doesn't have a cooler, but we're going to convert it to that when the kegs come. I think we'll, we'll, so. You'll be the first place we stop by <laughs> when the I kegs arrive. Can I ask how yeah, much please. beer sales increased during the playoffs? Because it must have been great for business. It's tough to say. We, we, we fluctuate so much right now, only being two years in, but I'd yeah. say 15% for sure. Wow. I think that would Way be go, that would be a safe a safe estimate. So is that honey? Yeah, that's honey. I mean, obviously, so that just acts as a binder and sweetens things up. This is a great beer any time of the year, but this really does come into its own on a hot summer day. Oh yeah, uh, on the back porch because it has that just nice clean flavor. You know, my mom there. doesn't normally drink beers, but she'll put back the steam whistles on a hot day. Uh, you know, way my to wife, go, Mama. I was telling mom. my wife that you guys were on, and you're her favorite beer because it has that, uh, you know, like you mentioned, Stella Artois, Heineken, like that nice clean. Uh, but it's all natural and yeah, yes. it's just good beer. It's so really what nice. now? So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to quickly walk you through the process of stuffing a jalapeno. Um, I've got a few prepared here already, so I just cut it down the middle. Okay. And then what we do is we take any sausage you like. Um, in this case, it's just a beef sausage. You can use a pork sausage. And you take the casing off, okay? Um, I like cream cheese. I've got my mixing or measuring spoons right man. in no my pocket. No idea why you were reaching into your pocket. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, really? you never know with a beer guy what he's talking about. It was sketchy for a minute, but <laughs> you never know what the beer guy is going to do next. And then just take a little bit of red pepper that we've um, grilled up, roasted yeah. on the barbecue. And uh, I'm not a technician with a knife, so I'm not going to cut it too fine. No. But what you just get are nice and small, so you can actually cram it, cram it into the jalapeno. And of course, you took the seeds out of the jalapeno. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good move. And you'll see, like, well, I've actually brought some other banana peppers. You can do it with something like this too, depending on what type of pepper right. you like. Um, it works really nice. So you just cut it down the middle and clean it out, and you can stuff it that way. So I just mix everything in like this. I use my fingers because why not? Why not? <laughs> Nobody's watching, right? That's a, that's why we were given tools, my friend. So just mix it up as best you can. You can actually even just take it all out. 
and put it right on your cutting board if you're finding the bowl you have a little restrictive. Yeah. So just mix it up and try to get everything incorporated together as nicely as possible. Okay, the cream cheese is gonna taste amazing once it starts to melt. And are we really gonna wrap these in bacon? Oh yeah. Because um, I think you just made, Mike, there's beer and there's bacon I just, You know what I'd like poppers. to do? I'd like to time travel for a second and just flash forward and, uh, and check out how these are So what have we got going looking. on over here? These are some that we made before, but uh, basically Mike's working on stuffing the, the jalapenos. Once we wrap them in bacon, we baste them with our steam whistle barbecue sauce. And then you want to do about 30 to 40 minutes on uh, medium low heat. Just nice. keep them moving and uh, keep a beer on hand in case it flares so, up. So, uh, yeah, just, <laughs> just yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, Mike was saying that you guys unfortunately had to practice yesterday and That's make terrible. sure that you, uh, that you had the recipe down, right? Yeah, well, with the beer uh, the beer industry, you really kind of work all hours. So, we're committed and uh, <laughs> we work late into the evening. Way last to commit, night. Guys. These guys are sacrificing for you, our viewers to make sure that this recipe is just and right. And then you throw some bacon around that yeah, bad that, boy? Yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to quickly clean my hands. It's a messy ordeal, but that's but part you know, of the fun. barbecuing's meant to be messy. It's not Why supposed not? to be neat. So then we just take a piece of bacon and we wrap it around and use our, use our toothpicks to help anchor it in place. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's just so... <laughs> I know. What's, what's awesome. better than... Yeah. So that, okay. While he's yeah, wrapping, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you that you could win a $300 prize pack courtesy of our friends at Steam Whistle. It'll get you all ready for summer. It has a cooler, a frisbee, and all sorts of other stuff. Yep. All you have to do is answer the question, what year is the Steam Whistle truck? We gave you the answer earlier, so if you have to rewind, do that. If you have to go onto YouTube and watch it there, do that okay. as well. Okay, Urban Ratchet Shaw. See, you can email us. Can we Our, try some of these? Or yeah, what? absolutely. So, guys, remember you want to reduce the sauce a little bit, so you can just add oh. it to a pan, reduce it down, get it nice and sticky. Thickens up. A We've little actually bit. done that in advance because we're novices and we had to do it that way. <laughs> and James is basting, All right. basting our. Look jalapeno poppers. Are you yeah, kidding? What? Done. Okay, done and done, people. You guys are the greatest thing ever. Steam whistle. It's summertime, people. Grab yourself a cold one. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be back with more Urban Rush right after this. Don't Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Oh, hey. you don't need the opener, do you? No, I just, How did uh, mine get empty? <laughs>